Thank you so, for being here in this day for the Europe Day. We decided to do a video call because usually we meet together and share our experience. But this time during uh, COVID-19, we can't do what we are used to do. So that's why we're doing this call. Also because it's 17 years this year that the Euro is to form and to reach peace and unity. Um, so I'll give you the floor to Maria. That is our major. Um, we're working very hard during this time, especially here in Italy. She's doing a picture for the social. Yeah. Like Malcolm. Yes. So, thank you to be here. Good morning, everyone. Martin, Luz, Luz, are you wearing us, Rich, Ben, and Malcolm? First of all, I want to thank you very much for accepting to respond uh, to my invitation. And I'm very, very happy to see you even on the screen, but this certainly makes uh, us closer. So we, we can see us even in the screen. For some day, I have been wishing to contact you personally, to ask you how you are and how is your experience, this terrible situation about the COVID, 19. Uh, how the feeling of your citizen and we we know that this pandemic will characterize characterize the whole uh, 2020 but uh, this 9 of may the day dedicated to the bird of europe could be the right one to try to feel closer on May 1950, Robert Schumann's declaration marks the beginning of the construction process of the current European Union. 70 years old after the day, Europe is facing a crisis that makes clear that uh, if we stay unit, it's more important today than ever because I think that this experience uh, shows us that we are one world. I believe that uh, never as this period, we must understand that we are part of a, a unique community which has to learn to face together the big problem and the great challenge that life and history present us. Big problems like the pandemic, we are facing don't, don't know national borders and concern all of us, nobody excluded. Sharing good practice uh, as we, we try to do, as at the local level becomes increasingly important. And this is why we are here today to tell you about the situation in Italy, Luz, and in Formigine, what we have managed and uh, what we are doing about the COVID-2019, uh, and to ask how you and your community are facing the spread of this pandemic. From the May 4th, is do began and uh, the national level in, uh, is very controlled and prudent, providing for a gradual relaxation of the restrictive measure that had been imposed by the Italian government since the last 8th of March. For work, health and necessity methods, if a uh, it is now possible to move through the Emilia-Romagna region. People are also beginning to allow it 
how to visit relative uh, other loved ones. loved ones. The main recommendation are always to keep at least one meter of the distance for people, wash your hand and often and wear the mask as I am wearing because I am near to Giulia. Starting uh, to the May 4, most of the production activity are uh, reopened. Catering activity of the bar and restaurant, in addition to home delivery, are allowed uh, to reopen to the customer exclusively for the collection of takeaway meals. Access to the park gardens and public villas are allowed, respecting to impersonal distance at the last one meter. Children play area remain closed. Outdoor sporting activity are allowed as long as uh, they are carried out individually. School remain closed until September, but learning and distance education continue. Since the beginning of the lockdown, the municipality of Formizina has built a tax, uh, task force made of voluntary, that I say thank you, from the local voluntary association. We are engaged for different service, such uh, for the delivery of food and medicine uh, and home, at home for people in difficulty uh, or in non quarantine. My goal uh, was not make for the people feel alone, not to make them feel abandoned in their home. And for this purpose, we have activity several projects. For example, for Migine calls you, people over as 75 years who lives alone are called by the phone several times a week by volunteers just to have a conversation and keep them uh, company. For me, Jeanalise New, a free telephone psychology assistant offered voluntary by the team of professional psychologists from For me, Gine. And we are activity, activated, sorry, a home loan service for the box of the municipality library managed by the scout uh, of For me, Gine. We are shopping vouchers to the family with social and economic problem. And we are distributed to all my mask to all the family of Formigina. An application for e-commerce is being studied for the local star and shop and uh, to retain Formigina consumer with the local operation to made uh, to start now the economy. This is one to we have managed to put in place so far, but the work and activity are continually updated by the, and we, we do the best, we try to do the best, to meet everyone needs, trying to keep the community united. And uh, this for uh, today is to keep the Europe united, even if it's not a, uh, a good moment, but we we have to to dream anyway, and uh, you know that Ferrari say if you dream something you can do, yes, and we 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 start to try this. Thank you for the meeting. Thank you that you are here. I hope that uh, we will see very very soon. Thank you, Maria. I'll give the floor to Martin Brett, the mayor of <clears throat> Good morning, all, and greetings from Kilkenny. And more importantly, can I say to you, Maria, for thanking you to bring it, for bringing us all together in, in a, what I would call a totally different world since this uh, virus hit us all. I suppose from the outset, can I offer my deepest sympathy on behalf of the people of Kilkenny to all of you across Europe who have lost loved ones, friends, etc. as a result of this virus. And as opposed to you, Maria, in Formigini and uh, the whole Medina region because of the fact that you have, 
I suppose uh, I really enjoyed uh, the trip over there, but more importantly, getting to know all of the people that were there. Uh, the losses that you've had in that whole region uh, just is staggering beyond anybody's belief. Uh, and throughout it all, it's 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 a storm that nobody has ever could have, um, imagine what would have, how it would have affect us. It has affected our lives in a way that we've never seen before. When you look at where we are, is say as a country for initially, we have an unemployment. We had at the end of February, we had an unemployment rate of four point eight percent. We're now running somewhere near enough to twenty eight percent unemployment, which is the, the highest we've ever had in years. Last week, nationally, uh, we we roll out a road roadmap for the. The, the coming together of the country because uh, we have been locked down since um, mid mid March, so obviously we have a situation whereby on three weekly periods from now from uh, from next Monday, right or Monday week sorry the eighteenth of May right through to the tenth of October, August where there's a whole formulated plan which is working locally and nationally to get people up and running and to get the system back on on track. This week, this week we formulated a plan to get the people back in the city of Kilkenny in the sense that, okay, we will have, um, you know, we'll have a one-way system going right across the whole situation, the whole city. Because, in fact, when you think about it, now, I, I was listening to what you were saying, you're operating on the basis of one meter. We're operating on the basis of two meter, which obviously means that uh, safety, etc., cetera, is, is important. But all of the structures that we're putting on board is actually to allow people to restart their business, to get the situation up and running. And with the help of God, uh, the world that we had uh, before, before this virus came will come back in some way. But we have to encourage people to operate in comfort and safety. And we have, we have two major problems in, the, in relation to that. One of them is that the fact that, okay, to get people psychologically back up and running so that they actually feel comfortable to getting out and talking to people because they've been cocooned or locked down for a period. And the second part is to make sure that the proper supports are available for everybody across the whole system. Because if the proper supports are there, it can happen. Now, we're well aware of the fact that there is a a big fund coming through from Europe, thanks be to God, uh, because nationally and locally we would not have the funding to actually encompass the, the, the enormity of what has, has happened. Um, each day is a day to be reckoned with in more ways than one because um, when you're putting out a roadmap, you don't actually know how this road is going to formulate because every time you make a decision to do something for the benefit of, or change something for the benefit of, it does have an ongoing effect or a, a, a knock-on effect in every other direction. But I think the important factor that has come out of all of this, and I think it's, it's, it's proficient in more ways than one, that we're doing this on the 9th of May, when we celebrated VE Day yesterday, which was the, 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 the end of the war in Europe. And out of that came what I would consider one of the great uh, operations that was ever done in this world, uh, which was the Marshall Plan for the rejuvenation of Europe. And one would have to say that we're now looking at a situation not unlike that, where the rejuvenation of the world is, is, is necessary. And I think the world needs uh, another Marshall with a, vision, with a vision like Marshall to get us there. But what it, will, what it has done is allowed all of us as people and, and, and communities and can, it, with the connectivity that we have now that was, that, was there, that was brought together as a result of the war, it's now in a different connectivity. It's a connect, connectivity of peace and the connect, connectivity of ideas, the connectivity of direction, formulating of goodwill, and more importantly, at the end of all, is to make this country, you know, obviously I'm, I'm very passionate about where I come from, but it's to make this world that we're living in a better place and leave the foundations for a better situation for the world that's going to come after us. 
But Maria, uh, can I finally say just say thank you to you and your team for bringing us all together? Because I think this is this is very very important. Thank you so much. Thank you, Martin. Thank you to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> thank you. Look, the mayor of Berden. Good morning. Good morning, my friend from Europe. I'm sorry that I'm too late, but the firewall in the town hall was too strong. So I have to change. <laughs> Maria, thank you and thank you for me, Jimmy, for this meeting on the Europe Day. I'm very glad to see you and happy. And I will tell you about the situation in Ferden. In the first case of Corona, we have beginning March. And uh, Friday, the 13th March, our government decided to close kindergarten and schools next Monday. Mm. And that means only some kids and children of parents who are in very important profession, hospitals, police, only a few children and kids can come to the kindergarten and school, all the others rest at home. And on Monday, we get the decision to close nearly everything, shops, um, museum, culture, no, no meetings, and restaurants, playing grounds. And we also decide to close our town hall. And the main rule in Germany is to keep distance. One and a half meter better, two meters, and no contact. We are not allowed to have contact to others, only with our family and one other person. And um, we also change our administration, so that means we make two teams separated because there's no contact. Most of them work at home, make home office, and we have to change everything to organize the whole work is online or telephone. And it's possible. It's interesting, it's possible to, to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's possible. So um, we also have um, a voluntary group who helps all the people, takes contacts, a lot of them. Our hospital um, becomes stronger, organized, prepares for a lot of corona cases. And finally, after some weeks, we have at the top, 60 cases of corona in the district and only near 20 in our town. And we have two people who died by corona. And since some days we have no new case of corona. Um, after six weeks, we get the first yeah, regulation becomes better, some ease of regulation. And uh, that means small shops can open um, schools and kindergarten, more people, more kids can enter. Library is possible. And next Monday, also restaurants. Half of the people can go into restaurants. And all the time is keep distance and less context. And this rule will continue for months, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, distance and, and all the companies, everyone has to change this way of this yes, life and this, this, how, how to organize. So also we making sport outside with distance. And a lot of people are, have creative ideas how to organize this. And um, therefore, today we have a lot of sunshine in Ferden. It's a wonderful springtime. <laughs> so it's a good day, even if it's a hard day and a hard period we are living. I agree to Martin when he said, it's a period of our life. We, wouldn't imagine that it's possible to live in this, this situation. And um, we have, it's a very hard period for us, even for my generation, it's the first hard period, but perhaps it's also a big chance to change our life, to change life about the economic. The most of the companies in Ferden still works because some of them make food industries, they have more work. Some of them have also more work because they have to make produce for a hospital, something like this. But we also have some uh, increase of unemployment. But many people are less unemployed because a lot of them make Kurzarbeit, a short work. That means they didn't work, but they didn't lose their jobs. 
they get 60%, some, sometimes more, of the um, of money. And the money is paid by the social insurance of Germany. So the whole life, you get every month, you pay in the social insurance. If there's a big problem, you get some money from this social insurance. And there's now, hopefully, it's enough money for these people who have no work that they get by the Kurzarbeit 60%, sometimes some more. If you have children, 67% of your normal income. So I, I agree that it's very hard. It's for administration, it's more work. It's really more work to, to live together in distance, unity. And there's a lot of people who are poor, have less, less possibilities to help them. We, in our library, make some places for child who have no possibility to learn, learn at home, but they can learn in the library on distance. But um, online home learning is now for the half of the children the, the duty to do. And I believe it's very important to make unity between our towns and in Europe. It's a very, very important moment now that we show and we prove that we can live together. And um, I'm not really sure that we could, we will reach it. We have to work for it and to force for it. I can just say, uh, I do my very best for the German government that the German government also does, will do what is necessary. But I believe we have, everyone has to fight for Europe now that we have, yes, uh, live together, make a future together and not the old future. We need a better future. We are, I didn't forget the Fridays for Future. And when we think about a new Marshall Plan for Europe, it's a new Green Deal we need. We make now, we have learned that it's possible. We have a big problems to change a lot in, the, in some days. And now we have this experience. We need that must need it to change our life together for a better world. Thank you for this meeting. And I hope to see us in a few months and take you on my arms. <laughs> bye bye from Ferdin. <laughs> we thank you. Thank you very much, Luz. We hope that you are right and we we can do what we have done, what you are saying. So now I give you the word to Rich Heavy, the former mayor of Warwick. Hi everyone, yeah, so um, hello, we send our love from Warwick and it's a pleasure to join with you um, to mark Europe Day and celebrate peace and unity. Even if I do feel like a bit of a guest following the referendum and the exit of the EU and the current transition period, however, the connection all of us here in Warwick share with all of you through our twin and friendship towns means we will always have a bond that cannot be broken. In the current pandemic, we remain under lockdown. Um, and right now, there is not a lot to look forward to. Uh, it looks like the lockdown will be extended. Uh, the Prime, Min Prime Minister will um, announce the decision tomorrow. Um, right now, only essential shops remain open for food, medicine, um, basic day-to-day -day shops. Um, <clears throat> schools are closed. Um, and particularly in Warwick, <laughs> there's no bars, no restaurants open. Um, some are providing food deliveries by home delivery, takeaways. But obviously that makes a big difference to Warwick, which is a very social town and has so many bars and restaurants where people come together and that brings our community together. That's something I think we're all very much missing at the moment. Uh, but the message very much still from government is the distancing of we, we go by two meters um, and their their mantra is that you stay home you protect the health services um, and that's how you save lives that still remains in place um, many businesses have been able to transition to working from home I, in my commercial work i'm working from home and the company's the company is fine. Um, everyone involved in the council um, are working from home. Everyone on the council stays safe and well, which is good. For those businesses that have not been um, able to maintain operations because they need people physically in a building, um, the government is currently paying 
um, 80 percent of the wages to staff who cannot go into the workplace or cannot work from home um, that is in place i believe until the end of june now uh, we are waiting on further information so yeah across warwick the streets seem so quiet um, and that was especially noticeable yesterday when we celebrated the 75th anniversary of ve day as best we could um, across the town um, people were putting flags and banners um, in the windows just to give some sense of occasion um, because it was important that we remember the beginning um, of peacetime um, and as Her Majesty the Queen said yesterday, uh, the streets are not empty, they are full Sorry. of our love um, and that meant a lot I think to the nation. So yeah, the, the pandemic has hit hard, although the number of cases is generally, generally lessening. To date the UK has had 211,000 cases and 31,000 deaths. In our region, the large county of Warwickshire, there has been 1,300 cases and 258 deaths. In the town, thankfully, it is much, much less. We have eight deaths. Um, and even though I say it's a less number, we, you know, obviously send our thoughts and prayers to the families here and everyone in your towns that are mourning the loss of loved ones. Um, particularly sad for us is the pandemic also means we were unable to host young people from across our twin and friendship towns um, for Eurocamp this year, but we will be back and hopefully we will make this happen next year. We are passionate about it. It's one of the biggest things we can do together and as you all know, and I know you do, I love it. Um, so from all of us here in Warwick, we send you our love and thoughts. And as the famous English wartime singer, Dame Vera Lynn sang, one day we'll meet again. Okay, well done. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. Thank, thank you. you, Rich. We hope soon we will meet again. Yeah, so I give the speech to Baron Polsky, the mayor of Havenberg. Yeah, uh, <laughs> dear Maria, dear Julia, uh, Hello, Rich. Hello, Martin. Hello, Malcolm. Hello, Lutze. Hello. Uh, dear friends from Formitene, Sumur, Warwick, uh, Ferden, and Kilkenny, I am uh, glad uh, seeing and hearing you uh, all well. I think it's a good idea, a wonderful idea, a wonderful sign that today on Europe Day, we have the possibility to send the warmest greetings and wishes to all citizens of, of our partner uh, friendly cities. Unfortunately, we cannot meet in person, but we can meet in this video conference no less warm hearted. We actually wanted to meet for our annual partnership meeting in July in Havelberg. We would have liked to be your hosts. But sadly, the pandemic also put a spoke in our wheel. Oh. Of, co of course, the last <laughs> few weeks uh, have been very restrictive uh, and a challenge for all of us. No question, we also watched the pictures and reports from Italy, France and England on TV and we were with you in our shot. We hope that the difficult situation in your cities will also become better and that the usual life will slowly return. For us, uh, the situation has stab stabilized. Uh, we currently have 12 infected uh, people and sadly uh, also one death. No new infections have been added in the past few days, thank God. Um, now uh, we have a whole range of step-by-step -step easings. For example, uh, in Ferden 2, 
There is emergency care in the kindergarten and in the schools, the first classes have started again. From this week, all shops in the city are open again, and since yesterday, all playgrounds. In addition, sports can be carried in, uh, out in small groups, uh, but only outside. Museums, zoos, and uh, exhibitions were also opened. Soon the restaurants and hotels should also be allowed to open again under certain conditions. Yeah, uh, but the rules must be followed for everything, like a minimum distance and wearing a mask. Uh, large events are still not permitted. So there will be no traditional boat period and no horse market this year in Havelberg. Uh, terrible. And there are still so many question marks. Difference, nevertheless, we are optimistic about the future. We dearly hope that the inhabitants of your cities look with confidence into the future too. In our hearts, we are with you in great solidarity and closeness. We wish you all the best and above all health. Best regards to all of you and a big hug from a safe distance, of course. Thanks so much, dear friends. Thank you, Bern. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you for the heart. And now, last but not least, uh, Malcolm Nolan, that is now in the National Ireland Parliament and is uh, one of the members of the Committee of Region in Europe. You have to touch the microphone because now you're mute. Yeah, we are. Okay, here we are. Good morning, everyone, from sunny Kilkenny uh, in Ireland. And it is a great honor to be with you here on Europe Day, joining in solidarity with you uh, at this unprecedented time in our history. It is important, I think, from our perspective that as Europeans, we will continue to reach out to each other in that spirit of solidarity, to be here for each other, to support each other, and to share the common humanity that unites us all. Uh, from my perspective, I have uh, recently been elected to the Irish Parliament, and shortly after the election, the pandemic hit. So we had a difficult situation we had to try to continue with a government that was still in place to support that government in, its, in our collective fight against the pandemic. And all of the political parties united around the government to try and suppress the coronavirus pandemic, to flatten the curve, and to try and get our people through this very difficult time. We continue to do that now in the economic supports, the social supports, the wider supports that we offer to the farming community, to our businesses, to our frontline workers. Uh, there were many challenging areas in um, settings where there were older people in nursing homes, people in direct provision centers, asylum seekers, um, vulnerable people who, who were clusters of the pandemic uh, have hit hard and that has been a, an incredible challenge for us. So we are now trying to deal with that and now we're in the process of trying to set out, as the mayor has said, a roadmap for the opening up of the country and the lifting of restrictions on business and uh, people returning to work. So that is a, a, a big challenge. The I think we have done a reasonably good job in trying to flatten the curve and reduce the amount of fatalities and, and the infection rate. Uh, and I think um, it will remain to be seen how various countries have responded to that. 
I would think that Ireland has done reasonably well. Um, the bigger challenge then now is to try and form a government. Uh, my party, the Green Party, is in negotiations with the two centre-right parties, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, of which uh, the mayor is a member. Uh, and we are now are in discussions to see if we can put a government together that will help our country not just move through the transition out of the coronavirus, but look, as the other mayor has said, at a different normal, a new normal, and try to seize the opportunity to envision a whole new way of working and doing things uh, to tackle the greater challenge, which is that of climate change and biodiversity loss. And uh, that is going to be a big, significant focus of the next government. Uh, we think that it's the most significant and important thing. And in many ways, these pandemics uh, make us more vulnerable because they derive out of perhaps uh, a denigration of nature. So for you all today, I think this is an important today for all of us. Uh, I welcome this fantastic opportunity to reach out and to be with you on Europe Day uh, in solidarity with uh, Maria and our, the mayor of Formigny and all the, the mayors of the municipalities that we are connected with. I think it's much more important now that we share that solidarity and that united vision. And um, I just want to wish you all the best to send you uh, my love and to say that uh, as we emerge from this, we emerge together and we share our experiences uh, and the trauma of the people, but we bring with us uh, an opportunity for a whole new way of doing things. And I look forward to continuing to work with you all over the next coming days, months and years. Thank you. Thank you. It was amazing to have you all here, especially in this age, like Europe is made by us and every uh, day we're doing our best to reach a more peaceful and a more unite Europe. So I think that now we can uh, stop the record. And uh, if you want to say something out of the record, say bye to all the people. Bye. As I say in Ireland, slant hamel, big, big, big la lege, going. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. Salute. Space. Bye bye.